Hello and welcome back to the Gubba Homestead. I'm Gubba and I welcome you into my food storage. We're over here in my pantry. Today we are going to be discussing the five myths of food storage. Whenever I share food storage content online, I get a lot of comments because people have misconceptions about food storage, so I want to clear those up. If you want to learn more about food storage, how to build one, how to organize one, I have an in-depth course teaching you how to do that. I also have a food storage downloadable that teaches you how to do that, has some tools in it. So I have some great resources if you and your family want to learn how to build a food storage. The number one myth about food storage, the most common misconception I would say, is that all of the food that you store is going to expire because nothing is going to happen. Well, if you just let your food sit here for years on end, yes, it will expire, but the most important part of having a food storage is having an active food storage. That means that you are eating what is in your food storage. I feel like this is where people get tripped up with food storage. They think that you buy food to then put in a room or a basement or somewhere out of sight, out of mind, and you only use it when there is an emergency. So yes, in a way that will result in expired food and people are right, but if you are doing food storage correctly and you are eating what you have, you are not gonna deal with expired food, especially if you are taking the time to write on the cans with a Sharpie, the expiration dates, like right here I have December 2023, but canned goods can go past their expiration date by about three years, three to five years, depending. So if you are keeping track of what you have in your food storage, if you are eating what is in your food storage, you don't have to worry about an expiration date. You need to think about your food storage as an active thing, like an extension of the grocery store, but it's at your house, so you're shopping it, you're eating it, you're preparing meals with it. So that was myth number one, that all the food is going to expire. If you don't treat your food storage correctly, then yes, your food will expire. Moving on to myth number two. I have to admit this one is kind of weird, but again, whenever I post content about food storage, this is one of the most common comments that I get. The myth is building a food storage and having prepping supplies is just for Americans. Yeah, you heard that, it's weird. I get a lot of people in my comments saying, only in America, or wow, Americans are so weird. What an American thing. But I'm sitting here thinking like, okay, I've also talked to people in other countries who are experiencing the same food shortage as we are, who are experiencing the same inflation and increasing prices as we are. And I'm like, I don't really think food storage and building prepping, building up prepping supplies are just for Americans. I kind of think it is in everywhere for everyone sort of thing, especially when there's disasters. I don't think disasters only happen in America. I think that there are natural disasters that happen around the world. And that is part of the reason you have a food storage or have prepping supplies. So what a weird thing for people to think. I've also had some interviews with some news outlets over in EU and in speaking with the person who was doing the interview, they also made a mention that it is kind of an American thing and they alluded to maybe because we have a lot more land, we're dispersed here. I don't know what it is, but I do not think that having a food storage is just for Americans. If you're watching this and you're not in America and you're thinking that, get rid of that thinking and go to the store, start prepping, start getting some prepping supplies and building yourself a food storage. Like I said, natural disasters happen everywhere. Increasing prices are happening. Food shortages are not just for America. So I don't know where this came from. Moving on to myth number three about food storage, and that is that people who build a food storage are the ones responsible for empty shelves at the grocery store. I have read and heard this comment so many times on social media. People genuinely think that because I have a food storage, I am selfish and I'm the one who left the empty shelves at the store. Let's think about this critically for a second. Do you think that in a disaster 
or a panic, I am going to have to go to the grocery store. Yeah, I don't think so. So anyone who has a food storage and has properly prepped will not be at the grocery store during a disaster because they already have a grocery store at their house. So this logic doesn't make sense. But so many people think this. They think that I have put together a food storage within one day. I went and got 10 carts at Costco and filled up the entire store in those 10 carts to go and stock up my food storage. That is not what happens. <laughs> This is built up over a course of years, a long, long, long time. I do not suggest panic buying to anybody because then there is no thought in what you are buying. Things will then go to waste. You want to put time and effort into preparing your food storage so then you're going to have foods that you like. I know that if you panic buy, you're going to be buying foods that you don't like and you're going to be stuck with like canned spinach just because you think, oh, well, there's nothing else on the shelf. I better get this canned spinach. Like there's a lot of people coming to the store. Don't shop and panic. Uh, one, of the, one of the reasons to have a food storage is so that you don't have to be fighting at the grocery store. Who remembers 2020? Because I do and I am personally traumatized by it when I went to the store and the shelves were empty. But guess what? When you have a food storage, you're not going to be out there at the store. So that is a huge myth. And I cannot believe that people think that it, uh, there's no logic there. There's just no thing. So let's head down to the root cellar and talk about the last two myths. We are now down here in my root cellar and we are going to talk about myth number four. And that is building a food storage is hard. So a lot of people like to comment and say, this is too difficult. I can't do it. I'm here to tell you that you absolutely can. Anybody can build a food storage. It seems like it can be hard because maybe you have to go to the store or maybe you are learning skills like how to can. Behind me, I have some canned goods. And yes, this did take some time, but it wasn't necessarily hard. Building a food storage does not have to be hard, but it can take some time. When I think about this or discuss this with anybody, it's just about having different priorities. I may think something that you are doing is hard, but it's easy to you, but we just have different priorities. So when it comes to building a food storage, yes, building a food storage does have to be a bit of a priority because it is going to take time. Canning will take time. Putting foods into Mylar bags will take time. Organizing and creating a plan for your pantry or food storage or what I have mainly behind me is my long-term food storage takes time. So that myth is not true. It's not hard. You just have to put in the time and the effort to get things organized and to figure out what is best for you and your family. Moving on to the last myth about food storage. Myth number five is that building a food storage is expensive. I have actually a lot to say about this. I feel like a lot of people allow this misconception to stop them from building a food storage. Do not let that stop you. Building a food storage does not have to be expensive. If you go out and buy everything all in one day, yes, it will be expensive. I don't know very many people who could do that. I couldn't do that. So you want to start slow, start where you're at, start with like 50 cents or a dollar a week, go to the dollar store, get some cans. Walmart also has great prices on canned goods and slowly build up. So it's not expensive in that way. Also, having a food storage saves you money. When you have food at home, you're not running to the store wasting gas and it helps you be inflation. So a lot of these foods that I have, I got before their prices went up. So I have a good store of food. I won't have to buy food while the prices are crazy insane right now. And if they keep going up and in the meantime, I will be doing a garden, growing my own food, trying to become more self-sufficient. So there's all these things that tie into food storage. But if you are bulking up on foods, you are going to save your future self the hassle from having to go to the store and buy expensive foods. 
Eventually, when you do run out of said food that you stocked up on, you will have to go to the store, but it did save you money because you bought in bulk and didn't have to buy as much at a higher price. Another example that I like to use, this is beef broth. So you can get it from the store. This is all organic beef broth. I mean, I made this for pennies on the dollar. I just saved bones from food I was making and vegetable scraps, literally what you would be throwing away anyways, and put some water in, made some veggie broth. You can check out my video on how I did that. Pennies on the dollar versus getting organic beef bone broth from the store, you're gonna be paying a few dollars for this. So having a food storage, learning those skills like gardening, canning, how to do mylar bags, saves you money. Food storage is not expensive. You just need to be thoughtful about how you build it and what skills you are taking into it. And those skills are priceless because you can pass them on to your children. You can teach your friends and family how to can or use mylar bags, how to make bone broth for literal pennies with the scraps that you'd already be throwing away. So cool. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and that was informative and now you don't have any misconceptions about food storage. You get started on building your food storage. Everybody needs to have one. If you need some extra help, you can check out my resources down below in the video description and make sure you leave a comment and let me know what you thought. Thank you so much and don't do anything a gub wouldn't do. You guys are the best. Bye!